Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PUBG on the Xbox One. I know you guys wait fervently, excitedly, with bated breath all week for me to play this game. And when I do, everyone just rips their clothes off and gets naked and does backflips at home and they start drinking and doing drugs wildly. Don't let your kids watch it! And you guys just party on orgies around the internet. It's crazy. You guys just cannot wait for me to play this game again. Actually, in reality, uh... I know a lot of people don't really like this game. I mean, me included, I don't really enjoy, like it that much. But I do know that people like the streams because I get to interact with people a lot. Because there's nothing going on in the game. So there you go. Ugh, oh, wow, well, what a good start. First thing I do is yawn. I haven't even landed on the ground once and I'm yawning. That's not a good sign, guys. Kevin Lover says, do I like camping? I mean, in this game, especially the Xbox One version, it's like the best tactic. Because the gunplay is so bad on this version that you might as well just fucking camp. And I mean that, like, trying to get into gunplay half the time the frame rate goes into single digits. You can't even keep your, your fucking reticle, your targeting on the ca on a guy. <laughs> it's almost impossible to snipe. This game is terrible on Xbox One. Wait a minute. Oh, Kevin Loverman, actual camping. <laughs> oh my god, I thought he was talking about this game. He was actually talking about real life camping. I've never been real life camping. You're fired. SKS, which means he was probably camped out somewhere. There's no way to see where he is. And that's it. That's PUBG. It's an amazing fucking game. That's PUBG. Someone got an SKS from a random airdrop, and I have no chance. Amazing game. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater second playthrough. Six and a half years later, after the original time when I played this game... Uh, when the HD collection was released in 2011, I'm coming back to it to re-experience the game. I'm very excited to be playing this game um, again, a second time. Um, I'm certainly interested to see, you know, how it turns out. I don't know how well I'm going to do. I'll be honest, I just played Metal Gear Solid 2 HD, and I pretty much did just as badly as I did the first time. Because, again, I actually said this on, on Twitter the other day. These games are games that are very nuanced, and they have a lot of complexity to the controls, to the way you can play them, to knowing certain tricks and things, to do things in a, in a, in a manner that makes you succeed uh, when otherwise you're just flubbing through if you don't know what you're doing. And playing these games once every six and a half years is not enough to master them. No shit, right? I never said I was good at Metal Gear, uh, and I know I'm not. So... The reason I'm really replaying this is because six and a half years later to re-experience it now when I have a little bit more experience under my belt, it'd be interesting to see if I could do this a little bit better. And I'll be very honest with everyone, back when I played this game the first time, I did not take it seriously. I was constantly joking. I was insulting Kojima. I was doing all that kind of really ridiculous stuff. I really felt that playing Metal Gear Solid 2 a second time gave me at least a little bit more respect for the series and that game in particular. So now I'm looking forward to doing the same thing with Metal Gear Solid 3. Snake Eater! Shove that slimy serpent down my throat, baby. Ah. Huh? Oh, oops. The reason I'm really replaying this is because six and a half years later to re-experience it now. Ooh, I, have I didn't mean to do that. Under my belt. I wanted to interrogate him, but I pressed. I guess I pressed the wrong button. I thought it was triangle, but it's not. I guess. Oh, what the fuck where did he come from? Okay. How do I tear you? I forgot what button it is. God damn it, I forgot what button it is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Metal Gear Survive Beta. I know you're as excited as I am. I mean, I've been waiting with bated breath, with fingers crossed. I mean, with nipples pinched, I've just could not wait to play this. I'm so excited. Here we go. We got to put in a name. There we go. Kojima's fired. I don't know why. It just sounds like a good name to me. I I don't know why I would why I would name my character that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
Hello and welcome to my Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom playthrough. I'm very excited here. Number one, played the first game five years ago. Loved it. It was one of my favorite games of 2013. Number two, I'm a huge fan of JRPGs. I grew up playing them in the 1990s. They're one of my favorite genres of games, despite the fact that it's very hard for me to retain viewership when I do this kind of stuff on the internet. Whenever I get to sit down and finally take the time to experience a JRPG, I absolutely love it. <clears throat> Number three, this is going to be a lot different because now... I'm more of an interactive live streamer than anything else, which means potential here when I'm playing this game and we're walking and exploring the open world and there's a lot of repetitive style, you know, random encounters and the like, um, I'll be able to interact with my stream chat and have some fun discussions and have some fun stuff going on rather than it just being me isolated like it used to be when I played JRPGs and not really having anything to do during that downtime. So, what the hell is this? Oh my God. If you are a resident of Germany, some specific clauses apply to you. You must eat an entire jar of sauerkraut to beat the game, yes. <laughs> Bandai really got you there, didn't they? You had no idea what you were signing. Here's your giant industrial size can of sauerkraut. You must eat, yes. <laughs> what the hell? Alrighty then. What happened? Dude, I'm not even lying. My audio completely died. My audio 100% died. What happened? Style. I'm gonna have to go unplug and replug my headphones. In. Hold on a second. Now let's see if I have audio. No! I still don't have audio. What is going on? Uh. Try again. What the fuck? Dude, I have no audio. Is the audio of this game fucked up? I think it might be. Cause why why are there no audio options in this in the menu? There's not a single audio option. Look. Nothing like oh surround sound or stereo, right? Don't tell me this game is, is default DTS audio and I can't change it. Because I'm going to have no audio at all. <clears throat> this is not good. Let me try something. Hold on. I still have no audio. I still have no audio. What the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna try restarting. I had audio on the on the menu and then all of a sudden it completely died and now I'm getting no audio at all. Isn't that nice? Try again here. Try everything. Unplug, replug. Great. Now I have audio. You guys don't hear it though. Now I have no audio. What the fuck? Oh my god. Alright, now I'm getting pissed. Now I'm getting angry. Work, you fucking piece of shit. All right, I'll see if it fucking works. Oh my God. What a start to the playthrough, huh? <laughs> Six minutes of audio issues. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the first Call of Duty uh, World War II stream Team that I've done match. in a million years. Like literally, it's been a long ass time since I played this game. I know I'm going to suck. And I don't even remember where to put my webcam. That's how long it's been since I played. I'm killing 20 of you, you motherfucker. What the hell did he say? Enemy taking heavy casualties. Push through. One, oh, two, three. this. What? He ran right by me. He ran right in front of me. Got him. Hasta la vista, baby. 
Oh! You, Chima Creed, just did 135 bit cheer to become the cheerleader. He says, Have fun, enjoy your break. Looking forward to videos. Are you getting Dynasty Warriors 9? That's going to be dependent on what people vote when I'm away. Because people will be voting on what. Oh, shit. People will be voting on what you want to see. I'm not used to spawning and dying so quickly. Uh, people will be voting on what they want to see when I come back. While I'm gone, so. I hit him twice. So see, I'm not used to playing this game. I shoot the guy twice, he doesn't die, even though I have the drop on him. It's so lame. I'm not used to playing this game, I gotta get used to it again. Spawn and die instantly, because the fucking spawning is terrible. Oh my god, he put another trap there, and I walked into it again. I don't even look for that. Recon searching for targets. Tokyo Trump did a 25 bit tree, he said, hello, your game chat is on. Oh yeah, you're right, it is. Well, it's not anymore. Muted now. <laughs> oh, what the? I couldn't even see him. <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing terrible. I'm not, not used to that. I'm not used to playing this game anymore. I gotta get back into it. Can't even keep my eyes open playing it. I seriously can't. I'm drinking. I'm drinking a fucking energy drink, and I can't keep my eyes open playing this. <laughs> oh my god. We must fight harder. We are losing this. I guess they're above us, but there's no way for us to go up here. Up a grenade. I I killed him. What? Oh my god. Oh. I actually shot this guy. I was prone and I was spraying and I shot killed that guy. How exciting. What the fuck? I got shot by who? Fuck you. It stabbed again. I didn't press that. Again, I didn't stab. I was just aiming like this and firing and it, it stabbed i didn't do it Somehow better call yeah, the controls are garbage too not only is the game buggy as shit and boring the controls are garbage it keeps stabbing when i'm not doing it now i, now I have a sniper rifle what the fuck he switched he swapped out for a sniper rifle I shot him right in the face. It was the only thing I could have possibly hit. The game only detected it as a normal hit. Cody Carls asks, what's more boring, walking simulators or this? I mean, at least walking simulators have a story. I think trolling me at this point too. Gee, it sure is boring around here. Actually hit him. I was gonna try to melee him, but. <laughs> Does it ever end? It says there's 13 spawns left, so the game will be done in a second. Thank God. <sighs> Amazing gameplay. Alright. It's enough of that.
That was like two hours, two and a half hours. That was two, some of the most boring two and a half hours I've ever experienced. Ever. And the thing is, I could get kills if I wanted, but I just didn't care. The game sucks. God. That's the most uninspired thing I think I've seen in years. Like, they didn't even try. That's li It's literally Battlefield 1 with a new skin. There's nothing new. It's terrible. That was absolutely fucking terrible. Like, what on earth are they thinking? They think they're going to sell that? Like, what, what on earth are, are, do you get out of that game? It's fucking boring as dirt. It's just die nonstop. Who cares if you die? There's no, no expensive, chaotic, can't tell what the fuck's going on half the time. Too many fucking particle effects and shit going on. It's just, it's just smoke and fire and snow. Fire! Wind! Water! Hot! Go! Planet! By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet! But, oh, God. I mean, seriously. Can they try anymore? They don't try anymore. What happened to DICE? DICE used to make good games. You know, I remember when I first started on YouTube and I was playing games like um, Battlefield 3 and B Bad Company and even, you know, Battlefield 4 at the launch of PS4 was exceptionally fun and good. This, that, this is just uninspired, boring crap. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We are back. We are back, everyone. Lothry. Why is my camera crooked? Where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. Yes, we are back. Dark Souls 3, second run, baby. Lords go without thrones. Dead. Fucked. <laughs> Starved. Oh well, should have drank your oval team. Farron's undead legion, the abyss watchers. The easy ass boss, the abyss watchers. I have like no healing left, so I'm boned. Sword, one sword hit, hit twice. That's typical Dark Souls right there. Where he hits you once, but it registers his two hits and does double damage. That's happened in every Dark Souls so far, and they still haven't fixed it. They apparently think it's fair. Only in truth. The Lord's will camera's still not centered. Their thrones. That's better. Woo! All right, fuck it. I'll try to fight him with fucking half health like an idiot. I'll do it. I'll do it. Are you sure about that? If I remember correctly, you can get a few extra, you know, like like cheese cheap hits at the beginning here. You get like one or two cheap hits, but then he stands up. All right. Yeah, I remember you could run around the whole. I remember you could run all the way around here, and he doesn't attack until you hit him, or you go over there. If only you had the key to get through the door, you say, fuck this guy. So is this the real champion Gundir, or is this the fake one? Because remember later on, you fight the real guy, and he's way tougher. So is he just supposed to be like the fake one? I don't know. I never understood that. I never understood that there's a real world and a fake one and all this in the plot. And that's right, he has the tentacles, remember? His second form, he gets the demon form. Yeah, I remember that. First he's a knight, and then after that the tentacles transform. Remove the sword. Deal that much damage. He did a lot of damage. There's the ladder that you need to let down. I'm assuming you gotta jump to the right. Excellent. 
Got it! There it is. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This game just unlocked. It is release night. And uh, just unlocked on my PS4 Pro. Gonna jump right in. Volume's just kind of low. Up the volume on my headphones, and I'm also gonna up the volume on the stream. The volume of the game actually seems quite low. All right. Oh god, I get, just got loud with the music. What the fuck? The music got like mad loud. Ah, ah, my ears, dude. Ah. <laughs> Why the music is so loud? Holy shit. I wonder if I can go to the club and it'll automatically unlock and I can get stuff. I'm curious because usually you can get early game unlock. It's not working. I'm pressing X right now. Nothing's happening. Because usually you can go to the club and unlock shit like early on in the game. It won't let me. Unless, oh wait, over here? It's not doing anything. What the fuck? What the hell? It's not working. I wonder if the club is down. I guess the club is down. Alright, let's just play the game. Wait, I can't play the game! Huh? Look! I can't play the game. I can't even play it. What the fuck is going on? I can't click on anything. The whole menu's crashed. <laughs> I can't. Oh, wait. Huh? Not wait. What is going on? Tell me the necklace. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? Oh, no. My son's oh, into yeah. video games. He likes Fortnite. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor. I have to learn how to do those weird hip-hop dances with him after he plays. It's very bizarre. Did he just punch a helmet? Oh. Oh. Okay. Great. <laughs> well, now we know what's going on. The server's crashed. The server's probably crashed because it's release night. That's why I couldn't do Ubisoft Club. Hey. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? BWT this year said, This is Sparta! Ha! 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 Yes! I light attack! I light attack you! Oh! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god! The brut oh, the brutality! Look at this! Oh! Area of effect! A buff! Oh my god, he did the Sparta kick! He missed. How, I don't know how to dodge. I can't, I can't... What's going on? I can't attack! I couldn't attack. I still can't attack! Look! X doesn't do anything! Look! X doesn't do anything! Square dodges. Uh, X... I can't attack! My attacks are glitched out! I can do a buff, and I can do a Sparta kick, and I can do the dashing stab. That's all I can do. I can't do a light attack. It's glitched. Oh, there we go. It's L1. Never mind. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, L1. There you go. Fuck him up. <laughs> so there's two modes. I heard about this. So guide mode is normal. Exploration mode, basically, there's nothing in the world to tell you where to go. You just have to wander everywhere to figure shit out. You don't even know where your missions are and shit. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> A more traditional experience, markers are displayed at all times, and quest objectives are given to you automatically. Why would I want to do exploration mode where there's no fucking icons anywhere? That's stupid. Yeah, fuck that. Give me as much as <laughs> fuck got. that. How do I toss him? What button is it? Walking the road to Sami without armor is just asking. I don't want armor. I want to toss the body. I don't, I don't know. Pick this back up. How do I toss it? Square? No, that rolls. Oh my god, there he goes. Ugh, blood squirted out of his head. Ew. Blood squirted out of his fucking head. Uh, why am I crawling? Oh, there we go. 
I, how do I throw the body? I gotta figure out how to throw the bodies. Let's see. Is it L1? Nope. L2. No. Is it L R2? R2! Okay, hold on. Oh, fuck, there's a little shark right there. Shit. Oh my god, there's a little five shark! Oh, fucking shit! Oh god, oh boy. Level five goddamn shark. Why is there always gotta be a shark in your good loot? Oh god, shit! There's a little three shark attacking my ass! Fuck, I'm bleeding. That's not good. Oh boy. How the fuck do I swim faster? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to another, yet another fun anniversary style playthrough for me. It's the year 2018. It's my 10th anniversary being a video game Let's Player and content creator on the internet. And this year already, I've done some really awesome throwback playthroughs uh, to games that people have wanted to see. You know, some of my most synonymous playthroughs of either infamous or good ones. And today is no exception. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting Bully Scholarship Edition on the Xbox One. It was five years ago when I changed from basically being someone who was at camp where pointing to forces television recording and everything real style, uh, you know, fight, and changing over to recapture live streaming, etc. And Bully in particular, Bully was a game I'd already been playing with the old style that I used to record, and regular playthrough I jumped over to doing recapture live streaming and all that. And because of that, I'm not, the video was good, but I suffered a little bit, so it was a little bit of 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 a I really enjoyed playing five years ago. There's strong rumors. Rockstar's working on Bully 2. So I just want to find out. But the cool thing now is, Bully's Edition is compatible with the Xbox One. And all these Xbox 360 games, they're compatible with Xbox One. They're basically a little bit better than the last year I played the And maybe it looks way better on the Xbox One, in my opinion. So, I'm pretty excited to be playing this again today. Bully Scholarship Edition. Let's do this, folks. Let's get this started. Time for me to fail at all those classes yet again, right? What the fuck's with this? Look at this kid. This kid had too many pixie sticks this morning. Oh. Alright, he's unstuck. He's stuck. I hate you. Good. Glad you hate me. Good start. Um, wanna make out? Whoa, what? No! <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. There's a class. This year we're gonna take the preps out good. True to me, just give me a class. If a prefect bust you, he'll send you to class. <laughs> Shit, I'm a dead end. How do I get out of here? I want to go to class, but I don't know how to get over there. Look, the map shows that you could go here, but you can't. Maybe I gotta go the long way. You have crossed that line. Into your class. Busted. That didn't work too well, did it? <laughs> Slingshot didn't do shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Momentous occasion. It is time, finally, after years of anticipation, the release of Red Dead Redemption 2. It just unlocked live on stream on my console, and we're about to boot it up for the very first time. So each piece of snow in this intro cinematic took a hundred hour work hours, one full work week to, re to render. Oh, look, a crack in the stone. Let's go through it. It's Assassin's Creed, right? Oh, no, we'll go down here. <laughs> Like, this ain't a Satsuki, you're not going to stupid little cracks. Fuck that. Walk through the snow like a goddamn man. That's right. Did someone say Suicide Kings? Oh, God! I didn't mean to do that! No, it was a mistake! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I was just kidding. God damn it, I was kidding. I was totally kidding. I didn't mean to do that. Down this way. Oh, you gotta get a running start and jump with Square if you want to fucking do Suicide Kings. This looks like a good place to do it, though. Whoa! Nice. Boom the fuck away. They were loud, too. <laughs> I ran over the wolf! I didn't shoot it, I fucking flattened it! Damn! So. Brutal! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? DSP here. It is May of 2018. There's not much going on in the realm of gaming this week. It's a pretty slow week. And so I have decided 
to do another one of my throwback playthroughs. And what I mean by that is since it is my 10th anniversary as a content creator for the internet, that's right, 10 years I've been playing my games and sharing those experiences on a daily basis with you guys, the viewers, I've decided to go back and replay a lot of the games that I've really enjoyed over the years. And one of the ones that I played once only when it was new, and I always felt like I wanted to go back and replay, was Dead Space 2. In my opinion, taking a look at the entire Dead Space trilogy, I do think Dead Space 2 is probably the best game in the trilogy. It is time to start Dead Space 2. Let's do this, guys. Now, here we go. In fact, you know what? I can't even go on hardcore difficulty. They don't allow you to do so. So there you go. So normal is a skillful trigger figure is needed. Survivalist is for veteran players. Ammo and ammo are less plentiful. Enemies are more deadly. Here we go. Zealot. Ammo and health are scarce and enemies brutalize you. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see what happens. <laughs> Coming for me! The creepy crawlies are coming for me! Oh shit! Went the wrong way. No! Uh, no! No! Isaac. Well, the creepy crawlies got me. That's it. That's the end of the game, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my second run through Dead Space 2 Zealot difficulty. It's pretty entertaining. Oh shit! Wait. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, oh! An epic decapitation, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Burnout Paradise Remastered. I've never played this game before. And FYI, I had to kind of skip the intro because it had all licensed music and stuff playing in it. All that happened is they th tossed me into this car. I said it's a wreck and you're going to have to get it fixed in order to start doing stunts and, and doing fun stuff in the game. Um... And I took a picture of myself for my driver's license, my in-game driver's license, which I believe we could see right there. See it? <laughs> see how stupid? Oh, you couldn't see it because the cheer was blocking it. See how stupid it looks? <laughs> it's pretty funny, though. Take photo. What the hell? I want to keep taking my photo. All right. Here's my, here's my new license photo. <laughs> yes. That's great. What the fuck? Whoa! Super jump! Super jump! Oh no! Oh! That sucked! Oh, here we go! Yes. Celebrate upgrading your license with a new car. The Hunter, Hunter Mesquite. Mesquite has been delivered to the junkyard. The delicious, delicious Hunter Mesquite. How do you get to the junkyard? I don't know. Hopefully they, ex they explain it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today is a truly momentous occasion because today I get to play another Quantic Dream game. For those who are longtime viewers of my content, you'll know that I've had a pretty damned good relationship with Quantic Dream over the years. I've pretty much played every major release they've done in the modern era, including Indigo Prophecy slash Fahrenheit, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls. All of which I enjoyed. People say that my style of gameplay and commentary certainly lends itself to this style of game. As you know, Quantic Dream games are games that when you play them, Depending on your choices, it could completely change the outcome of the game. Someone could live or die. You could get a whole new cutscene or, or stage of the game when normally maybe you wouldn't if you had made a different choice. And so they lend themselves to multiple playthroughs. This is my first playthrough of Detroit Become Human. I'm going to try to make honest, reactionary decisions to everything going on based on how I feel at the time. Is Willem Dafoe in this? Hello. 
Welcome to the Detroit Experience. Hi. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Oh, wow. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. Sounds good. I'll adjust my balls right These now. These language settings oh. were detected on your console. There we go. Are they correct? There's no Willem Dafoe in this game? Oh, I'm fuck this then. We're done. I'm closing it. We're done with this playthrough. I'm Willem Dafoe. All right, I guess okay, we gotta put up with no Willem Dafoe. Now select your profile. You my profile. I'm 36. I enjoy long walks on the beach, pina coladas. <laughs> what is this? Okay, I want immersive gameplay with advanced controls. A fair challenge where mistakes can leave me losing a character. Okay, so casual or experienced. I want to focus on the story with simpler controls, more forgiving, and fewer chances to lose a character. Now let's do experience. I'm experienced. Oh, yeah. When this sign is displayed, please oh. do not turn off your console. I'm yeah. turning it off. Fuck you. I, I, do, I don't do what I'm told. Remember, We've got a badass over this here. This is not just a story. Oh. This is our future. Oh, wow. It's very important. We got to we gotta do things properly here. Make sure we don't make any terrible decisions. Let's kill them all within the first five minutes. Let's do it. Oh, hold on. Oh, Jesus Christ! FJ Resto cheered. He said, remember, you have a certain amount of time to figure out every episode in the game, but it won't tell you how much time you have. Oh, fuck. That's not good. I didn't know I was timed. I had no idea. I gotta hurry up then. Oh, God! They killed, he killed the father. Reconstruct. Father was holding something. Can I not finish it now? Maybe not. What did he do? Did he drop something? I don't see it. Where did he... Oh, there it is. Triangle. Aha. Uh -huh, I got it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to WWE's My Player Mode for 2K19. I thought it was called My Career Mode. Apparently, it's not. Apparently it is called, um, uh, it is actually called My Player now. It looks like they've changed it dramatically. Here we go. My Player Wizard. Look at this. Fighting styles. Five core fighting styles that you can choose. Technician, Powerhouse, Giant, Cruiserweight, or Striker. So basically what you've got is someone who's more fast moving and will do a lot of offensive strikes, punches, kicks, and the like. Someone who's more about technical wrestling, like holds, submissions, suplexes, more, you know, technical aspects. Powerhouses, people who don't know how to wrestle and just bounce around the ring pretending to do five moves to do. Giant, these are the guys that are insanely huge, ginormous bruisers who also really can't wrestle that well, but they're huge guys so they get over anyway. And the cruiserweights, probably the best wrestlers in the entire company, but because they're short, they'll never get over. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, social account name, let's use my real one. funny is I never get anyone tweeting me about this game. This game is one of the few games where I actually use my real Twitter handle in the game, but they never actually, I've never had like a tweet, wow, I just saw your playthrough and you know, here's what I think about it or something like that. Alright, so this should be, it should be the, like the king, if I could get it to say the king. What the fuck? I didn't want to do this. How do I get this to move through? Letters. I have no idea. What the fuck is this menu system? All I want to do is go to, to, to K for the king. I don't know how to do it. Oh, there we go. Stupid thing. BCW instead of ECW. Show this Friday night at the high school. Tell your friends. Don't need a flyer. I go to every show. Wait. 
Is that you? Uh, no. Mm, what do you mean? No, that's not me. Facing Mr. CQ in the main event. Yeah. It's definitely you. Uh, <laughs> no. I guess I can see the resemblance, but that guy's a huge indie star. Why would he be out here flyering for a show? I know. Hey, it's true. Is this weirdo bothering you? Yes. He's one of the wrestlers. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Have fun at the show. Yo, I thought wrestlers had money. Why would he be driving around some crappy bug van? Yeah. <laughs> see? Good point. More proof that I am not who you think I am. Here I am. This is actually my wrestling outfit too. I have this. I own this. I like because especially it rides up the up the ass extra tight. It's a watertight seal. That way when people boo and throw sodas at the ring, the, the ice cubes don't pop up my bunghole. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Very nice outfit. Alright, here we go. All employees. Oh, you're not a high school gym or anything. Evacuate immediately. All employees. Hey, Hunter, it's been a while. Who the this fuck is are you? This guy that Matt Bloom wanted to See, bring in for the tryout match Get him the tonight. fuck out of here. Nice to meet you. You trained him, Baron? I did. He's oh, one God. of my top students. You need a lot of work then, I'll kid. I'll try not to hold that against him. See? Uh, 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 Look, I've heard a lot of good things, but I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle it. <laughs> Bro, I'm strobing in a squash the match. Toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest monster. Wait a minute, you're have. kidding me. I was I was kidding. Tell Go me it's not Braun Strowman. It's Braun Strowman! Don't what? Worry. He won't hurt you. I was kidding! Until your match, at least. I was kidding! It's Braun Strowman! <laughs> what the fuck? I was totally making it up, and it was. I could have written this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. This is a game people have told me about for a while. And I wasn't going to take time out and drop everything to play this game. But people have nominated and voted to see me play it. So I'm actually playing it today. Not to you list the foil off the trade to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate we used to make little adorable kitty cat ears. It's so cute. It's so precious. Sayori so grabs the first, and Monica, and then I follow. It's delicious! <laughs> they voraciously devour the cupcakes. <laughs> Just like that. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez, beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? That was ball flavor. <laughs> that was testicle flavor. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this with me. Oh, wait a minute. This is Japan. So it was squid flavor. It was squid flavored cookie because Japan is their delicacy over there, right? Oh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. This way, I just turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. It's like co-op book reading. But I'm holding it like this. We're held even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I could feel the warmth of Yuri's face. Oh. She's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Oh, oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. Sumda! Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb. Oh, gently letting go of the page. Oh, here we go. Gently letting go of the page. Oh, and fluttering it over to her side. As she catches it under her own thumb. Oh. You're creepy, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, over six years in the making. Welcome to my Darksiders 3 playthrough, a game that basically got stuck in development hell when THQ, the game developer, went out of business and took a while for them to get picked up and, you know, get, get back on track, but they are. And here it is, Darksiders 3, after six and a half years, finally releasing. Uh, curious to see what THQ Nordic has done with the franchise. Okay, but what's over here? Anything hidden? Nope. Not unless there's something in the dumpster. Oh my god, there was something in the dumpster! A wrath shard. Dude, I totally was joking, and there's fucking something in the dumpster. Of course, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse goes dumpster diving. Why not? You might find a, you know, half of an egg sandwich in there or something. Keep looking. <laughs> 
Maybe some chicken salad. What the hell was that? Okay, um, what is this? I wasn't paying attention to that message, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Fuck. I was making a joke about an egg sandwich when I was trying to double jump, and I don't know how to do anything with this. While jumping, press a hold square to activate whip swing. Okay. This boss is quite patient to allow me to do all this platforming. But yeah, this boss reminds me of a couple different Jim Henson puppets. What the fuck? Uh, how was that fair? I still got hit anyway. I still got hit anyway. Ooh, we got a big boy down there. This sucks, the camera. Yeah, the camera stinks. And I'm dead. Wow, they just comboed me and I couldn't do anything. Get the The camera stinks, they're all behind you, and you can't tell where they are if they're attacking, and they just hit you from behind randomly, and then you die. Great. I like this one. You may continue breathing. I'm going this way. Arson, Whoa! He's, did you see that? He said, zoop! He like slid oh, no, in. No, I'm going this Look, way. did it again! Zoop! What's going on with this cutscene? Oh no, no, I'm going this Whoop. way! <laughs> Whoop! While my mission does involve Zoop. balance, Zoop. it Whoop. does not require... Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Darksideville here, and welcome to a very, very special playthrough. Uh, this is a game that I've always wanted to play over the years and it's a game that I waited until I felt this was the right moment to do okay I'm at a time now where it's kind of downtime and I'm able to actually play and enjoy this game um, Final Fantasy 4 this was the video game that first introduced me to JRPGs Cecil Cecil his name is Cecil not Won't Cecil tell me what I don't happened? know why she says it like that first you're sent off my lord, I've spoken no ill of his majesty, I swear it. Can I show you a little something so we can forget about everything? Okay then, the Ken Ken. Bum bum. Alrighty then. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Phil here. Welcome to a brand new playthrough. Heading straight forward through this very busy gaming season the next new release that i'm checking out is fist of the north star lost paradise fist of the north star a throwback anime from the 1980s ultra violent gory bloody punching through people's chests hitting poking someone making their head swell up like a, a giant melon and explode crazy stuff and i saw i never saw the original anime i saw there was a movie i think they made in like the mid to late 80s that was a summary kind of what was the what the anime was and I liked it, okay? I liked the anime, but it was kind of wild. And, you know, I remember when I watched it, I was, like, so hyper-violent. I was kind of shocked. <sighs> you know, years later, I probably have seen much more violent stuff and probably would not even think that it's violent, okay? The game says there's no system data, therefore it's deleting everything on my PS4. And I have no save files, and I'm fucked. Okay, very nice. Good start. Uh, oh, Jesus! That's right, Sega. Sega has let loud that loud screen at the beginning. So, Akio Artorius... Just cheered 105 bits and said something in Japanese I can't read, so I'm not gonna say it. I guess they want me to guard. Okay, I'll guard. Yeah, I guarded. Yes!
Get up, asshole. Oh yes! Oh la 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 la! Period. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the premiere of a brand new game. A game that honestly, I don't even know what to expect from it. This is a game called Vampire, 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 Vampire. I don't know how to pronounce this game. I thought it was Vampire because there's no E at the end to make it, oh, the, what do they call it, the stronger hard Y. But people are telling me the game devs have pronounced it Vampire, so. Anyway, even if based on proven medical knowledge from 1918, Vampire sometimes takes liberties when establishing possible links between scientific theories and supernatural creatures for theoretical pur or theatrical purposes. In other words, do not try to cure any disease with any recipes shown in this video game and no rats were harmed during the making of this game. Okay, so if you're harvesting some guy's testicles to heal, uh, you know, a pimple, don't think that'll work in real life. All right, here we are. Vampure. That's how I'm gonna pronounce it. Wampure. In today's session of Wampure, eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights, four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. Yes! Is what is darkness but lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? Oh. What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Uh... uh, uh. Welcome to Vampire, everybody! What a hot, oh, what a happy-go-lucky game! I'm loving the positive vibes. Follow the streets. There's the bar. Oh, you! There's a rat over there, but I don't need it. Get down this way. Now I gotta lock the door there. Shit. It's locked. It's locked. Shit. Lock. How the fuck do I get across? Can I swim? The vampires apparently cannot swim. Remember that, guys. idea. I have no idea what to do. I can't figure it out. I was already over there and it was a dead end. I come back here where I came from. This isn't the right way either. <laughs> ah! I guess it's cheesing music. You wish you know where to go, but you don't know where to go. So you are lost now and you go in circles. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, gamer. Fuck you, gamer. You got owned. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Ranged weapons. Equipment press triangle to use ranged weapons and inflict both standard damage and stun. Uh, uh, 
How do I equip it? Paul? It's the first triangle, but it's not. It doesn't work. I don't know what they're talking about. It's a triangle. It doesn't do anything. What are they talking about? It said press and hold triangle to use ranged weapons. No, it does. It does that. What are they talking about? Uh, and it won't replay what it said, so I have no idea what to do. Someone said right on the D-pad equips it. It doesn't work. Look. Nope. It doesn't work. Look, I'm pressing down. Nothing happens. People are like, press the D-pad. It doesn't do anything. Go to the menu now? Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? What the? It's delayed. Uh, no. Look, it doesn't work. Look. The D-pad does absolutely nothing. Zero effect. It doesn't work. I'm pressing every direction plus triangle. Nothing does anything. Go to the character screen. What the fuck is the character screen? Here? This is the character screen. Oh my god. Dude, what the hell? This is very complicated. Okay. Well, I got it to work and I wasted a bullet. Modern gaming in 2018, ladies and gentlemen. Modern gaming in 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while. I'm behind, and don't get me wrong, I am. I'm really behind on Batman, the, the Enemy Within, uh, from the Telltale series games, which season two of the Batman episodic release. Um, I played the original game, the original episode one, back in August of 2017 when it was released new. But then after that, I never had a chance to play episodes two and three because they were all released during the very busy hardcore gaming season. So today, I'm catching up on both. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. If that's true, then reinstate Gordon as Oh my god, I forgot about the voice modulation. <laughs> you Terrible. really are loyal to that stubborn old new large. I'll tell you what. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. Or they might just Twitter spam you eyes on social media with a lot of annoying tweets. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go... Oh, great. I just love it when that happens. <laughs> Persona could be a great help to us here. Okay, then. How many are there? I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe? The really big one. He, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to. I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. There's at least 30 or 40 dreamers who work for this company. Trump's gonna deport them soon. That's not what I was asking. Yeah, yeah, just about. <laughs> We're in. We're undercover. Bruce has become a super criminal. All right. Here we go. Oh, 
Nah. Oops. And he gets jumped. Ain't that a bitch? And that's it. That's the end of the episode. He gets jumped, robbed, <laughs> brutally beaten in an alley. Wakes up in a pool of his own piss and shit. Completely nude. The end. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice. Whoa. Yeah, because remember his I wife. Swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. Oh. There we go. Oh wait, okay. I'm following the diagram. For real? It's a pain in the ass. We're gonna hit a million switches. There. Well, at least we know that it works. All right, ladies and gents, welcome to Ultra Street Fighter 2. I've not played this since the summer of 2017. It's been quite some time. Just to forewarn everyone, the game is absolutely terrible online. It is. Well, we're joining this one in progress, folks. OBS error. I won the first round, but you missed it. Fucking OBS being stupid as hell. Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> I almost had a touch of death perfect there. I fucked up the combo though. I fucked it up. Oh, he, went, he ran to a coma. So I whooped his ass. I w absolutely whooped his guy's ass so he ran to a coma. Well, this is gonna be a guaranteed win for him. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh my god! What the fuck? Bullshit. Do you see why Kuma's broken? This guy's done nothing whatsoever that, that's good in the game. See? He's a complete scrub, but he wins because Akuma is a broken character. This is a waste of my time. Round three. Fight. Perfect! I got a fucking perfect against him, dude. <laughs> Well, that's it. I'm not playing that guy again. Because there's no point in facing Akuma. There's not. He's completely overpowered. It's a waste of time to fight him. So I'm not playing that dude again. Ran through him twice with Fei Long, and that's enough for me. Goodbye. Saw two flesh and blood. Oh, I'm sorry. Saw two flesh and blood. Uh, that's not blood. That's a paint spill. So we're just going to touch that up here and clean that up a little bit and make sure that, uh, you know, we can bring our paint thinner. <laughs> History repeats itself. Whoa. Huh? I pressed X, I still died. I don't even know what happened. I don't even know what happened. I pressed X, I still died. <laughs> oh, that's okay. We'll just, we'll fix that. Hold on, we'll touch that up. We'll, we'll repaint his right testicle back onto his body right there. <laughs> yes. 